So you're practicing wheelies, but you keep getting that crazy arm pump. And it's so frustrating. You wanna keep practicing, right? You maybe already got them down and be hanging on that balance point for miles, but eventually your arms give up. I've actually found some game-changing techniques that will eliminate the stress off of your arms and hands. And now I wanna pay forward to you. Let's go. What's up? I'm Robin. Welcome to Ride Yard, a channel where I use all my sun riding knowledge and pace it forward so we can fast forward your learning curve. Let's get it. Let's pop a wheelie to see what we're working with here. A little coaster. So we do a throttle coaster. Oh. Nice one. Okay, so the first thing I want to address is your body position. A lot of beginners, they stay in the same position when they pop a wheelie, but what they really should be doing is letting the bike come up to you. So when the bike comes up, don't follow it with your upper body like this. That's a bad way to do wheelies. What you want to do is counter the pull of the bike by leaning into it a little bit. Use your core muscles. And what you're aiming for is to keep that slightly bent arm. Kind of like I'm having when I'm just riding normally. Relax. So we clutch up. And we kind of like stay in the same position with the upper body. You see this? Just keeping that same kind of like distance with the bar from your upper body and that actually multiplies when you go even higher so at balance point you're here but if you drop it back just let it come up to you it's way more nicer what you can do additionally with your body to really take the stress off of your hands and arms is place the weight in the seat let me pause and explain this in the beginning, you will be used to having the handlebars as your main contact point with the bike. And you have to reprogram this to being your bum, your knees, and your feet. A good way to explain this is, I'm just going to use my side stand, put my feet up, and pinch the tank with my knees, and almost hold on to the handlebars. I'm not touching it. And then just lean towards the bike, lean back, lean to the side. When you do this, you will feel how you have to use your core muscles to not fall off the bike. That's the same feeling you're aiming for or looking for when you're in the wheelie. And another helpful tweak you can add to this is arching your back. That really kind of like helps with your body position to really sit down into the seat. I'm sitting here editing this and I just want to squeeze this tip really quick into this. You can actually start practicing this when you're out just riding normal, try to get into the habit of when you're doing uh, acceleration, arch your back and really focus on placing the weight in the seat and really feeling the push of the bike from the seat and forward and not the pull of the bike in the handlebars. And the same thing goes for if you're going for a break, if you're going to a traffic light or whatever, pinch the tank with your knees and counter that force by activating your core muscles and not by just feeling the weight in your hands and the handlebars. So you should really try Try to have a loose grip on the handlebars in almost every situation. Think of your hands as just guides to the bike. Which brings me to another tip. Get a grippy seat cover. And what do I mean by that? Well, in my experience, the true grippy seat covers are rubber-based, like this one gripper. But I know that there are some awesome variations out there on the market. Like the thrill seekers with those ribs on top of it that really hooks you. I would like to try them someday. So we're arching our back. And we're letting the bike come up to us. We're really just staying loose on the handlebars. Sit down into the seat. Arch your back. Backfire action. And if you want to learn how to do kosher like this, I've done a tutorial on it. They are really sweet and addictive, let me tell you. Woo. In the future, I want to do a throttle coaster tutorial as well. Let's try and do a deeper one. There you go. Woo. Ah. As always, I read and respond to all my comments. If you have some kind of struggle with this to really take the stress off of your hands and arms, let me know and we'll just work it out together in the comment section. Till next one, peace people.